yes, uh, the students are arguing that uh, Wikipedia is a very good source of, um, let's say, the first start and gives you some primary source, especially when you look at the bottom of each article, you can find primary sources. Then why do you need to use Wikipedia and you can't just Google it or go to Google Scholar and find your primary sources? Uh, I'd like to say something here. Uh, I don't want to be blatant or rude, but Ms. Sabah, your, the point you just stated was naive and misinformed. Wikipedia takes responsibility, it's three core principles, I don't remember all three off the hat, but it's validity, neutra, neutral point of view, and uh, a third one which I don't remember. And in those, if you read, if you've taken the time to read Wikipedia statements there, they clearly state that we are not passing the buck onto our users. We do have a team that evaluates, and, uh, uh, and not just a team, but even a software that evaluates all information that's put on there, and 42%, that's the exact statistic that you were talking about, 90%, 42% of information is corrected immediately in such a manner that users don't even realize that it, the misinformation was there to begin with. And most of the misinformation that is there on Wikipedia, which causes uh, misconception in the minds of people, is about live celebrities that this person's dead and this person's alive. But they have a separate clause for uh, defamation of living people. Uh, so they, Wikipedia clearly differentiates between scientific and philosophical and other such matters and information relating to living people. So they also it does not pass the buck on to its users. Not at they all. also admit that they, uh, not all the information can be trusted. Wikipedia uh, admits, it, your admits hand, it himself. Your hand, it, I can take this. <laughs> Actually, before we start, sorry, I just want to further support um, my team at Porov. Um, following on, it actually does have a, a very strict policy and guideline. And um, these five rules, if you'll allow me to elaborate, is um, Wikipedia is an encyclopedia, it, which is what I mentioned before. Um, it has a neutral point of view. Um, it's, it's free content. Wikipedians should interact in a respectful and civil manner. And um, it doesn't have firm rules. So anyone can come on, it, they can edit, they can revise, they can read, re-edit. There is a, a minimum por uh, period of 14 days where um, an article is supposed to be up online before it can be re-edited. Um, but isn't that just the same as peer reviews? I mean, this is what makes me nervous when academics start talking about peer reviews. Um, and it's sort of a... Uh, a debate between the masses because <clears throat> at the end, uh, when it comes to peer reviews, isn't that exactly what uh, Wikipedia is? The only difference, what we have found between Wikipedia and scholarly journals, the only difference that we can find, they're both articles, the only difference I'll reinstate is that scholarly journals are edited and reviewed before publication, whereas Wikipedia is reviewed afterwards, which gives the, you know, it gives a more liberal stance where someone, if they do spot an error, um, for journals, it's too late. Like, like Chintana said before, Nobel Prizes have been retracted, scholarly journals have been retracted, whereas with Wikipedia, you have, you, you have the, the access to this information and um, you, you can actually edit if you see that there is something wrong. Very well said. However, I think you skimmed over quite a lot of what the Wikipedia disclaimer views are. And I, I'll actually quote it, all right? Wikipedia actually has a no contract disclaimer where it says that the persistence information that is being provided to you is being provided for free. It disclaims itself of any contract being drawn up between the users and itself. In other words, it says that there is no agreement, there is no promise made for providing accurate information and with regards to what you said about Wikipedia being uh, neutral I am afraid that's really not the case because Wikipedia does have editors who are working on it and the editors are actually adapting the articles and editing the articles to their own biases for example Wikipedia has a very strong um, stance on global warming where it supports the doomsday very extreme versions of the do of the doomsday theories when it comes to global warming so in, in other words it supports articles that have actually been discredited by the scientific community because it supports their agenda when we talk about discreditation in the scientific community, I think we have to remember that once a um, 
an article or something is published inside a scientific journal, it's already considered old, old news. For example, when a virus is coming out, it's constantly being changed. How many times have we had to change the, the books of history? We've had to change because wars have come out unexpectedly. Um, South Sudan is now a country which wasn't a few years ago in books, which now you can easily find online in Wikipedia. Uh, for example, when the new planet came out, there was a new planet that was discovered a few years ago. We had no idea that this was even in, in existence in our solar system, and Wikipedia gives the easy, quick, reliable fast online use which these days let's be honest we live in a technological world the first thing you do you don't go running to the library looking for a book which isn't even there because it hasn't had the time to be updated whereas on Wikipedia as I said before you do have you do have that access to information the quick access and if you see that there is something wrong it easily gives people who are interested who have they have no intention of making it biased or slanted they go and they give their their view or the facts that they have okay point taken thank you I'd Jessica like to add a little bit to and that. how do you know uh, that something is wrong. I'll well, tell you. What about if you are reading an article or researching something that you are not expert on? For example, any of you can tell me who is um, Leon Robert de la Strand? No. Nope. No. I wouldn't also know who is it. Yeah, so I'll go to Wikipedia research and I find that he was living in 18th century and it was an anti slavery ship owner. Yeah. Uh, Later on, a student actually researched on this and found out that it was just a hoax and this guy never existed. Ex so, who is good enough to actually say that the article is completely correct? Ma'am, uh, with all due respect, your point was actually in our favor, not yours, because uh, the very fact that this was found and removed shows that Wikipedia is constantly striving to give reliable information out to the public. Up, and what happened in, in addition to that, what just, just one second, between? nobody answered Sabah's point of. Uh, what did she say? Global warming, yes. Well, uh, Wikipedia flags articles as neutral point of view or not. So I'm pretty sure the articles about global warming must not have been flagged as a neutral point of view article. And in addition to that, if people can celebrate Julian Assange for said giving out free information on WikiLeaks, then why not celebrate Wikipedia for giving out all complete free information to the public, even though it has been discarded by scientific journals? You should have both, the public should, is, Wikipedia is giving the public both sides of the argument, whereas scientific journals will give them the controlled and authorized side of the argument. Would you rather support uh, Wikipedia information, cited sources, than real, true academic articles, journal articles? No, I just, I value both equally. Wikipedia can give me information, and like I said, I researched nine other sources, and if Wikipedia doesn't match those sources, I will discard it as saying this is one of those odd, rare articles on Wikipedia which is wrong. Isn't but when it matches my other Wikipedia's, nine sources, uh, well and good. Porof, isn't Wikipedia just an easy way out, a lazy way out for no, students? No, it's, it's a simple way out, and we're students. We are not That's PhD level researchers, so we need the simple way at a beginner's level, at an undergraduate level. The problem over here is that you are gauging Wikipedia according to its stronger articles. So if it comes to articles about uh, Klingon language or Doctor Who, the history of Doctor Who, or My Little Pony, then yes, it's very useful. I love it for that, all oh. right? However, the problem, all right, yes. Okay, I am being tri trivial over here, but I'm making a point that it's a very good source for trivial information that might or might not be correct. What you should do is gauge a source of knowledge by its weakest entries, not by its strongest ones. So at the end of the day, you can't trust Wikipedia because you just don't know yeah, it's whether different. it's accurate or not. The most popular articles might be more peer reviewed than others, but... Sorry, Saba, thank yes. you. Sorry, before, uh, I just want to point on a uh, certain thing you said. You said all, you found, oh, you found something in Wikipedia which, which matches your other sources. So then you what, take Wikipedia and 10 other sources, credible sources, and compare them. What do you need to work extra? You can take just uh, the credible sources and get your information. Maha, by listening to the students, Wait. they seem to have a, quite a valid argument Backing, Mickey, uh, by backing Wikipedia, what do you say about that? Now, I'm just going to go back to something you said about updating the website constantly. So if there's a new planet or there's a new country announced, it's better than to go to the primary source, which is the news bulletin, the news articles. Why do we have to go to new Wikipedia? Because at the end of the day, when we talk about research, we always encourage our students to go for the primary source rather than the secondary. And secondly, to add on the notion about editing and updating, it's a question of who monitors that information, who chooses to edit that information. 
situation because there was an incident where there was a particular person, a particular writer who wanted to update an article. He went and did that a few times. He wasn't able to do so. So there is a sense of control, a very strong sense of surveillance that goes on Wikipedia, though it's not, though it's not evident to the public. Thank you, Maha. I think Chintana, uh, Jessica, please. Chintana, you've been quite quiet so far. No, I'm sorry. I was you just want to add something? I was just listening to some of the things they said. Um, Ms. Saba, you said that um, Wikipedia is trivial to a sense, right? But we're talking from an academic perspective. We're not talking about Doctor Who and Klingon language. We're talking about from, acad from an ac academic perspective. So in that case, if Wikipedia has an article that is backed up by sources, which we will see when we click those sources, why is it so let's say, taboo to use them in an essay. It makes sense. The information is backed up by numerous sources, by numerous authors, okay? Just because the person who wrote the article does not have, say, um, his career is not, say, brain surgery, it doesn't make a difference if that information is backed up. If that information is accurate, that's all that matters. May before Sa be before Sabah answers that question or that notion, uh, Jan, uh, Porav briefed you properly. What, what did he brief you on? Actually, it was the, the same point that I, I wanted to stress on. When you, when you talk about using a lot of references, and, and you keep on telling us to go back to the primary source, but what happens is um, we, we're living in the age of information, and you're going to have a lot of the sources, and it doesn't matter um, if Wikipedia is the first one we go to. Even if you Google something, that's the first thing you're going to get to. Yes, it categorizes it out of uh, popularity, but, but there's a reason that happens. And, and um, when you have these other 10 references, to we, it's most common that it's it's most probable that Wikipedia is, is even more trusted than than another website if it's not if it's not a peer-reviewed article. What happens is anything online, any website, as long as it has an author and as long as it has a date, most people consider it to be valid. Why don't they go back and check those sources? I'm I'm pretty sure there are a lot of dodgy websites out there. A lot of things you can find on the internet won't be reliable, and the information you'll find on Wikipedia will be so much better than the other nine sources that you got off another website, and just because it doesn't have Wikipedia in the title, doesn't make it re reliable or trusted. It seems to be it's all about validity. Saba, uh, Maha. Right. Um, just going back to this I idea of trivial, what Sava meant by being trivial is that it's actually Wikipedia is a hub of basic, very basic information. It is just facts, small facts here and there. We don't actually contest that notion. We do agree that Wikipedia is a good platform to establish a sense of knowledge, but it's a question of reliability. Can we rely on a source that has a history of having vandalism occurring all the time, of people editing information, taking out information, who monitors that information again? Who decides what information goes in and what information goes out? Thank you, Maha. Pour up the last point, and yeah. then we'll start wrapping up. My closing statement. Uh, no, this I, is not your closing statement. Well, this is your last. No, I don't point. want to say anything else after this. I would like to add uh, a point then before we get to the closing statements, if that's your yeah. closing statement, which I was going to add to before, if you don't sure, mind. Sure, sure. Um, I think the main point that we have missed here, what Sabu, you've just said by yourself, which I tried to say before, is the fact that we're only as strong, or a website is only as strong as its weakest link, right? Given the fact that Wikipedia, it trusts, this, it trusts the information, it trusts the other Wikipedians who constantly add to the website. We are only further editing what has been written. We are not actually completely retracting what has been said. Scholarly journals, once again, have been completely retracted. It's rendered completely invalid because of whatever reason. Whereas Wikipedia, if it sees a tiny error, it acknowledges that the rest of the article is still valid, but there's only a few tiny little details that might need to be edited, not completely retracted or completely re-edited. So I think that's another important Thank point you, you need Jessica. to keep in mind. Let's start wrapping now, up. 30 seconds, Pora. All I want to say is that in terms of this, this entire argument about Wikipedia, uh, it is a very reliable source of information as a starting point. We are undergraduate level students. We have just started for venturing into the area of research and proper thesis assignments. So, and like she said, we're in the age of information. In developments in technology, innovation, it's all about simplifying our lives, not making them more complex. And that's what Wikipedia does. It simplifies our lives, gives us all the information at one online place. It's easy to access. And as far as the reliability is concerned, that is, uh, we re research our assignments properly and always compare it against other sources. Thank you. Point taken, Porav. Jan, 30 seconds, please. 